On the afternoon of Wednesday, May 4th, representatives of the Chamber of Commerce as well as dignitaries from both the township and the village gathered at Live Cannabis on M24 to celebrate the dispensary's official grand opening with a ribbon cutting ceremony. The Lake Orion location opened its doors to the public on 420, of course, and is one of seven locations in Michigan. Traveling regional manager Jordan Felix described what a customer can expect upon visiting the dispensary. Basically, when you come in, you're going to be greeted by our great receptionist, and then they'll get you put in our queue, check your ID, verify your age. One of our bud tenders will come out, they'll walk you through our glass shop and let you, you know, look around a little bit, then take you into the bud room where you will make your purchase. So during that purchasing, they're going to find out why you're coming in, what your ailments are. Maybe you just want to relax. Maybe you got some pain relief that you're looking for. Maybe you just, you know, want to take the edge off for the day. Anything like that, then basically they prescribe you with whatever your needs are pretty much with the with the product and that comes from like edibles flour concentrates different different ways it's a different way for everybody to consume upon opening its doors live cannabis immediately became one of lake orion's largest employers these guys um, have opened and have become the largest employer in the village um, i have never put uh, 40 40 full-time positions on my stats. I keep track of how many jobs are created every time um, a business opens, and this is our number one right now, and that's uh, quite a milestone. Uh, my staff is great here, and all the staff across all of our stores are great. We we have a very rigorous uh, a very rigorous process for hiring people on, and even once you get hired on, you go through kind of like a training point or like a trial a trial point, and then once you get past that point, we can figure out you know if you fit the culture or not. And we try to look for just good, decent people that work hard. That's all. That's all it really takes. You know, doesn't matter you know your your background, your history, who you are, what you look like. As long as you're a good person and you work hard, you can work with us. Medicinal marijuana has been legal in Michigan since 2008. In November of 2018, 56% of Michigan's voters approved Proposition 18-1, legalizing recreational marijuana for those who are 21 years of age or older, with licensed sales starting in 2019. First of all, marijuana is legal in the state of Michigan for adult use. So, look, it's here to stay. And, and as a township, we've kind of taken more of a progressive approach at this, and, and all, really, uh, came out of a need uh, for a new building. I mean, there is revenue to be earned and generated by local municipalities if you have these facilities in your community. Parents need to be really careful and adults need to be, make, make sure that they're keeping this stuff locked up and away from their kids. And I am in sync and lockstep with the North Oakland Community Coalition on that and they have a campaign they're launching and giving away uh, free lock boxes to keep these drugs, just like your prescription drugs, away from your kids. That's how this stuff needs to be treated. But um, it's here, it's here to stay, it's legal, and uh, I think we've attracted a great business here. We take pride in our business and in community. We're going to do things to bring money to this community, jobs to this community, to bring joy to the community. You know, just on our grand opening, we had the free taco truck and free giveaways and just stuff for people to come and be, feel like they're a part of something, you know? And I feel like we're, that comes from the top down with our company, and we just want to spread that wherever we go. If you have any questions, you can call the Lake Orion location at 248-287-8300, or you can visit livecannabis.com. In Lake Orion, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ONTV News.